Hi again, I'm going to show you how to make this bow today. It's really, really easy. Um, it's only going to take you a couple of minutes. Um, the first thing you need is your ribbon. And I've cut mine to about 17 inches. I've already done the, the tails on them. And if you don't know how to do that, all you do is fold the ribbon in. Always have the open side towards you. Take your scissors and from the corner you just cut straight up. You cut like that. You're going to need some string. Um, you'll need the lighter to do your tails. Um, you'll need your your clip. And I think that's about it. Okay, this is how simple it is. You take your, your ribbon, put it in your hand, kind of off to an angle, Bring your ribbon around, bring it around again. This time the angle goes down this way. Okay. Take it off your hand. Get your clip. Find your center mark. And I usually just fold it up to see if the uh, the bows come together, and that's pretty center. Take your string, flip your clip upside down. You're going to put your string through the bottom. Flip your bow or your clip back up. All you're going to do on the top is cross. Then push your thread back through to the bottom. Flip it back upside down again. And this is where you're going to tie. And slowly bring your string in tight and then tie it again without it loosening up on you. And then you just go in and pull your little loops through like so. And that's basically it. Pretty easy, huh? Then you can take your string. This is what I do with my string. When I have long tails like that, I take one of them, wrap it one way. Then I take the other one and wrap it the other way. And then when they meet up in the back, I tie it off again. and then just fluff your bow up. And you can put it on a clip. Oops, I've got my bow going the wrong way there. Let's push this up in here. There we go. And there you have it. Well, trim off your string when you're when you're done wrapping it and tying it. And then you can put a knot on it or some sort of embellishment and you can put a clip on the back. So have fun with them. If you need written instruction, go to www.craftaproject.com and subscribe to my videos. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.